Hello. I wasn't ready. Uh oh. Now you're ready. Now I'm ready. Hello. It was a better clap too. Yes, yeah, so it really was. Hey guys, uh, checking out some newer, newish pedals, which is a very cool update uh, to their Metal Muff series. Kind is, of a needed update. Is there the new? This is the new Metal Muff. So it started with the Metal Muff with top boost, and then they had like the pocket and the micro. Um, this one's great because this one now gives you full three band EQ, which is active. There's a center detent so you can cut or boost frequencies. Okay. And a much needed upgrade is a noise gate. Right. Which is a lifesaver um, both on stage and in recording. Um, you get that much cleaner tightness to your sound. Uh, tightness? Is that a word? Yeah, that's, I, know, I think that's, that's a word. word. As an example, we'll turn it on and. Uh, yeah. Not hearing anything it's, outside of what you would already yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, for posterity, we'll hear a clean sound here. So, again, on nothing. You got no noise, so you can even, like, I can even. Nope. You can almost hear it, that gate kicking in. Which what actually could be a pretty, cool, pretty cool effect. But that shows you how loud it actually is once you kick it on. So. And so you get a tighter sound. Yes, yeah. that's probably the word I was thinking of. Yeah. You know, it's easier, it's two, two letters less. Mm. Um, so you get that nice tight er sound. Um, and it's just quiet, so your, your chugging sounds more... Uh, Disturbed. Even sounding with your attack, so yeah. you're, not, you're not hitting one and hearing nothing, and then you hear squeak, squeak, chunk, squeak. You don't hear all that extra line hiss no, that you might get right. from that's uh, what I was, yeah. high that's gain it. amps and pedals, which they tend to do. Uh, that is their drawback, is that the more you turn this gain up, the more you start to introduce a lot of noise. And again, these, these EQ controls are active. So let's say we want to go for our famous bedroom metal. We can completely <laughs> scoop out the, the mid. Or, yeah, right. Or if you like the other opposite end of it, you can get some more of these doomier sounds by sliding <laughs> up. Or that buzzsaw kind of, the Swedish yeah. buzzsaw kind of sounds. You can crank that up and crank everything. Just turn everything Just turn everything up. Wow. While that may not be the sound you're going for, it's powerful that enough to, to shape it <laughs> however you like it. Um, I found that, you know, just bumping up the, the mids just a touch. Um, we'll put everything at unity as far as the EQ here. Usable, but not the best sound. A little bit more mids definitely help. And even at a lower gain setting, it still has a nice chunk of Just to show off, I just turned the noise gate off. No noise gate. That's what it sounds like with it off. Um, you can hear the buzzing, but you can see that you don't need much. And when that green light kicks in, you can see that's when you can tell the noise gate is active. So, very, very quick on the attack, yeah. and I think with pickups this powerful, you probably have to crank it all the way for it to, mm, yeah, it cuts okay. it off, yeah. so, what, basically you just find the sweet spot where you can still sustain a note.
And okay, then, cool. Like a ninja. So you just wow. have to kind of dial it in, tweak it, but that's cool. Yep. I mean, the gate, it's all about the gate. I mean, it really is. It's it's. I mean, it's still a metal muff. It's it's uh, it's. It sounds fine. Mm -hmm. You do have to tweak it, but that gate makes it definitely way more usable for that certain sound. So yeah, definitely. I think that was a smart move. It really was, and definitely adding the extra EQ helped out a lot too. Smaller is better too. Um, so good job. I think they did a fine job on this. So if you're looking for something way extreme in the distortion metal range. You probably couldn't go wrong with this, and considering it is sub one hundred dollars, it's um, a seventy-two seventy. So I think for comparable features, you're you're looking at something like the you know the EVH fifty-one fifty from MXR. Mm -hmm. which yep, that's kind of where I was thinking gig. those two would be a pretty fun shootout. I won't say that I don't like the tonality of the EVH better, but this is half the price. And I think it could work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you might have to dial it in a little bit better um, to your pickups, but. Uh, but hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, comment, let us know if you tried them, what you think, and uh, check these pedals out and also all the pedals that we have available on our website, lights, L E I T Z music.com. I'm Rick. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.